Next concept is buoyancy. You know, different types of ships you are seeing on the sea water. You have small boats to big, big ships with difference in weights. Whatever the weights, if you take a small ship or a big ship, they are floating on the water. Why they are not sinking? We know that if you take a bucket of water and if you take a, a metal ball and drop it into the water, what happens? The ball go into the water. It is nothing but immersed, dipped into the water. But it does not float. Comparing to ship, the metal ball is having very less weight. Even this less weight, it is sinking. Whereas the ships or the boats are not sinking. They are floating on the water. So what is the secret behind that? And the secret is buoyancy. Buoyancy is nothing but it is the principle, it is a phenomenon of buoyant force. So this buoyant force always acts in the upward direction, the buoyant force. And this force balances the weight of the body. So that the net force acting in the ship is zero or the weight is cancelled by the buoyant force and so that the weight, the ship or the boats are floating on the water. But how the scientists get to know that this buoyant force, buoyant force is working in fluids or in water? How it is possible? Then the answer was given by a great philosopher called Archimedes with his principle called Archimedes principle. Archimedes principle. So what he suggested that if you take any body which is fully or partially, partially immersed. A body which is fully or partially immersed in a liquid, then, then it experiences, it experiences buoyant force, buoyant force, buoyant force equals to displaced liquid or you can say liquid displaced. Now read once again. A body fully or partially immersed in a liquid like water then experiences a buoyant force equals to displaced liquid. That means when the ship is on the water on the water surface, how much of area it occupies, that much amount of water is displaced, removed, so that it gets some empty space and the empty space occupied by the ship. Suppose if you take this ball, the ball number one is in the surface of the water. Before the ball one is placed in the water, you have water here. But as soon as the ball is placed, the water is removed from that position and that position is occupied with the ball. So the removed is what called displaced. So that the ball is not sinking, it is floating on the surface of the water. See how beautiful explanation given by the Archimedes. There was an old story that Archimedes uh, was called by the king and king asked Archimedes to weigh his crown. Then Archimedes started thinking how to weigh the crown of the king. He was in the tub filled with water and uh, there is a tub filled with water and he want to bath and he accidentally he get into the tub and the water uh, comes out of the tub. Then he understood that how much of weight he feels the same amount of water is displaced and he was surprised and excited without the clouds he came into the streets of the country and he shouted Eureka and Eureka means I got it that's how the Eureka word became famous so 
Here, if you apply the same concept here, see this example. There is a measuring cylinder which is having an outlet, side outlet filled with water. Okay. I want to know what is the weight of a, uh, a small spherical metal ball. So what I did, the metal ball tied to a string and the metal ball immersed in the liquid. As soon as the metal ball is immersed, the water level increases. The water level increases and the water falls into the beaker. Say the beaker collected, the beaker collected 20 ml of water. Then we can say that the metal ball has experienced the band force and that band force equal displaced water which is 20 ml. So band force equal to 20 ml of water displaced. But force is always in terms of newtons. But I am telling in terms of 20 ml volume. But how can we manage this number? How can we convert this number into newtons? Focus carefully. I will tell you here. So 20 ml of water. We have a concept called density, which is mass by volume. I want mass. So mass equals to volume into density. And here the volume of water is 20 ml. Density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube. It's a fixed value. Density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube. So 20 into 1 is nothing but 20 grams. So 20 grams of water is displaced. Now force. Force you want to calculate. You know the weight formula. The weight formula is mg. So 20 grams, 20 grams divided by 1000 because I need to take in SI units into G value is 10. So how much you get? 2000 cancel. You got 0 0.2 newtons. So the band force experienced by this ball is 0 0.2 newtons or the weight of the ball is 0 0.2 newtons. So that's how the volume of water converted into mass 20 grams. And then from taking this mass, we have taken the force, calculate the force, which is the force of the ball. So that's why Archimedes statement is correct. A fully immersed or partially immersed, it experiences buoyant force equal to displaced liquid. Now see these three diagrams, one, two, three balls. Three balls are there. The first ball is above the surface of the water. Or I can say on the surface of the water. Yes, it is correct. On the surface of the water. Second ball just below the surface of the water, third ball inside the water. So what's happening here? According to buoyant force you can tell. What we can say that in the first ball, the buoyant force of course always upward. In all three cases, buoyant force is upward. But in the first case, the buoyant force is greater than weight of the body. Band force is very high than the weight of the body. That's why the body is floating on the surface of the water. In second case, the band force is equal to weight of the body. That's why the body is in the water, but not inside the water, just below the surface of the water. And this is called law of flotation. Law of flotation. Flotation is floating. So what law of rotation says that whenever weight of the body is balanced by buoyant force, then that is called law of rotation. Now this is the third case. In third case, Fb or the band force is less than weight of the body. That's why body sinks. So in this way, based on the buoyant force, you can tell that uh, whether the body is floating, sinking, or on the surface of the liquid. If you like this video. Please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.